On 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 banished with 239 people on board while traveling in the southern Indian Ocean off the coast of the Western Australian Sea. The disappearance of the plane led to the largest aviation search in history. This search ended in January 2017 without finding anything. This is the story of the world's greatest aviation mystery. The disappearance of MH370 is not just an aviation incident. It's a tale filled with intrigue, speculation, and question. Remain unanswered. For nearly a decade, this story has captured the attention of people across the globe. What really happened, and what did Australian scientists find about flight MH370? Before talking about it, make sure to like this video. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Your support means the world with me. Flight MH370 took off from Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Malaysian time at 12.41 a.m. on March 8, 2014, with 227 passengers and 12 crew total of 239 people. The flight destination is China's Beijing, Capital International Airport, with landing time scheduled at 6.30 local time. After being instructed to switch frequencies to Vietnamese air traffic control, the pilot replied in the polite but methodical manner that is common in radio calls. Good night, Malaysian 370. Everything was normal just after takeoff, but suddenly the plane vanished from the radar. The last communication with air traffic control came at 1.19 a.m. when the aircraft changed course unexpectedly. It was the last message anyone heard from the plane. Radar contact was lost at 2.22 a.m. over the South China Sea. The plane deviated significantly from its planned flight path, turning south and west before disappearing completely. Immediately after the plane went missing, a massive search operation was launched. Over 26 countries participated in one of the largest and most expensive searches in aviation history. The search initially focused on the South China Sea, but soon shifted to the Indian Ocean where the plane's last known location was estimated. After covering millions of square miles of the Indian Ocean in search on July 30, 2015, several pieces of debris, flapper on moving part of a plane wing, washed up on Reunion Island in the western Indian Ocean. Later, it was confirmed to belong to MH370. Then, no traces were found in the Indian Ocean's 120,000 square kilometer search area, prompting the suspension of the Australian-led search, the largest in aviation history in January 2017. Over the years, countless theories have emerged, ranging from technical failures to deliberate actions. Some believe it was hijacked, others suggest a catastrophic mechanical failure. But with little evidence, it's hard to know what to believe. There are several possibilities, plane could have experienced a sudden mechanical failure, or there could have been human intervention. But without the wreckage, we can only speculate. For the families of the 239 passengers and crew, pain is unimaginable. They have been left with an endless wait for answers that may never come. It's like living in a nightmare that never ends. We want closure, but how can we find peace when we don't even know what happened? So many questions remain. Why did the plane deviate from its flight path? What happened after it lost contact? Where is the wreckage? And if there was a motive behind this tragedy, what was it? These are the questions that continued for decades. Experts around the world continued to search for answers. Some believed they are closer to the truth, while others feared it may never be found. After years of mystery and countless theories, we might finally be closer to uncovering the truth behind the missing MH370 plane. A Tasmanian researcher claims to have found the perfect hiding place for the plane that vanished back in 2014. Vincent Line, a scientist from the University of Tasmania, believes he has pinpointed where MH370 might be. In a recent LinkedIn post, he shared his theory that the plane was deliberately buried deep within a 20,000 foot deep area in the Indian Ocean, known as the Broken Ridge. This new discovery could change everything. We thought we knew about MH370's disappearance. According to Line, it wasn't just a tragic accident caused by fuel starvation. Instead, he suggests that a mastermind pilot carefully executed a plan to make the plane disappear without a trace in the southern Indian Ocean. 
Line points to the damage found on the plane's wings, flaps, and flapperon as evident. He believes these clues indicate a controlled ditching, similar to what Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger did on the Hudson River back in 2009. This idea supports the claims made by Larry Vance, respected Canadian air crash investigator. So where is MH370? Lyon suggests that the plane is located at a specific point where the longitude of Penang Airport intersects with a flight path found on the pilot's home simulator. This area, located within a deep and rugged part of the Broken Ridge, could be the perfect hiding spot, surrounded by dangerous ocean conditions and filled with fine sediment. Lyon believes that this area should be a high priority for further search efforts. Whether or not this site will be investigated is up to officials and search companies. From a scientific standpoint, Line is confident that the mystery of MH370 has been solved. Could this be the final chapter in the MH370 mystery? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, science has brought us one step closer, uncovering the truth. What do you think? Could this be the breakthrough we've all been waiting for? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this and other fascinating stories. But beyond the theories and technical details, we must remember that this is a deeply human story. 239 people with hopes, dreams, and families who love them. This isn't just a mystery. It's a tragedy that has left a void in countless lives. Even if Australian scientist claims the perfect hiding place for the MH370, Still, this mystery ends with these unanswered questions. What caused the plane to deviate from its flight path? What happened to the plane after it lost contact? What was the motive behind the disappearance?